Hello everybody, this is Hypernight G, and it's time for a little history lesson. In March of 2019, Bethesda released the first expansion slash DLC, whatever you want to call it, for Fallout 76. And it was called Wild Appalachia, and with it came this. This obnoxious creature known as a sheep squatch. It's basically everything about a ram and a sheep and any sort of Sasquatch-type creature that you could possibly hate all at the same time. Big horns, lots of spines coming out of the back. It's very, very silly and annoying, and I hate it. But also came a lot of weapons related to this, including the Shepherd's Crooks, which you use in a quest called Free Range. And depending on how you do on that quest, you may get the plans to create these shepherd's crooks and also to modify them. In this video, I'm going to talk about the shepherd's crook and what you can do to make it a more compelling weapon and also what its purpose is. So here we go. Um, the base weapon is just a standard crook. It's a curved piece of wood. Specifically, the end is hooked around and it's got a cowbell on the end of it. In the free range quest, you pick this up from the destroyed Mr. Handy Robot to guide some Brahmin back to their ranch and then defeat a sheep squatch that appears to eat them. Um, I actually have that posted about as tall as the sheep squatch is. It's really silly. But once you've got this weapon, and more importantly, once you've got the plan to build it yourself, you can see that there are some options to make it a viable weapon and not just a tool for herding Brahmin the two-headed cow creatures that populate the Fallout universe. So let's take this one down and take a look at what there is to it. As usual, we'll start by seeing how we would craft it. No blade yet, so it's a blunt melee weapon. And here we see the Shepherd's Crook can actually be as low as level 10. Uh, this is because you can get it that early. Uh, it's just leather and wood. You'd think a little steel for the cowbell, but not so much. You can take it all the way up to level 50, which just requires 9 leather and 16 wood. The level 10 version does 25 damage, and this goes up slightly, up until you get the final version, which has 123 damage. If we swap over to modify it, see I've got a level 50 here, and it does 123 damage, which is not bad, but for a two-handed melee weapon, you really want a little bit more. So we've got to modify it. Our choices, uh, we can start with the electrified crook, where you add adhesive, aluminum, circuitry, and rubber, and it adds electrical damage. Specifically, it takes you from just 123, it adds 32, now you're doing 155. Not bad, pretty significant increase from where we were. If the electrical isn't enough, how about covering it with shards of glass? Yes, spiky shards of glass that stick out of it, and basically, it, it cuts. So your targets will bleed, and you do slightly better damage. Specifically, you do 136. Compared to the 123 we started with, that's better, but you'll do more damage with the Electrified of 155. On the other hand, targets do bleed for several seconds, so it might be worth it. Then there's the Horned Crook. Now take a look at the items you need here to make it. See... All you needed for the glass one was to glue some glass on with adhesive and glass. The horned crook actually requires adhesive, cloth again for the rope, and a large sheep squatch horn. You take the horn from the sheep squatch that you hopefully killed, and you slap it on the end of the crook. Yep. I should point out, all of these, up till now, have been not that difficult. But this one does require makeshift warrior rank 4. Of course, since you're doing two-handed melee, you already have this at rank 5, right? So this is not a big deal, but again, the damage is only 142. You're not doing a whole lot. It is, as the description says, greatly improved over the original, but I don't know that 19 necessarily counts as greatly improved. How about instead we spike it? We get adhesive, which I don't know why we need, because the steel is going to come in the form of nails that are jutting all through the thing. And it's now going to do 137. It does do armor piercing now, which is good. I mean, it's not as good as the 142, but with armor piercing, it kind of balances out. 
Still got that bell on there. And this last one is kind of... Yeah. Trigger warning if teeth freak you out. This is the Toothed Shepherd's Crook. It has a bunch of fangs coming out of it. Specifically, you've used, you have used adhesive and four mole rat teeth to glue teeth to the end of it. It now does 123 damage, which was basic, but it also does one poison damage because you've stuck your opponent with the teeth of a mole rat. That's a thing. Yep. So, how do these compare? Well, okay. Standards, 123. That's fine. Electrified adds 32. 155 is probably the most damage we're going to get out of it. Again, this one does make targets bleed, but it's only doing 136. You might be better with the electric. The horn is 142, and I guess it gets points for how terrified people are when you run at them with a stick that has a ram horn tied to the end of it. The spiked one does do armor piercing, so the 137 might be negligible at this point. And the toothed crook... The toothed crook. It... Yeah. Um... It does poison damage, but it only does 123 plus that one unit of poison damage. Anything that you could actually get in the first shot and then allow to bleed from the poison, probably not going to be that big of a deal in the first place. But let's take a look at them visually, because like I said, this is where they actually did quite well. Even if I don't particularly care for it, it it's a stick with a hook and a bell on it. Here right below it, you can see the horned version is uh, well it's a lot bigger on the head but it's still the same basic creature over here you see the little power pack for the electrified version right here you've got the spiked version you can see the nails jutting all through it over here shards of glass I'm not going to get too close to that one and this one's got teeth so that's a thing Here's a pro tip. If you're actually after this one, and it's creepy, I don't know why you wouldn't be, um, you may think, oh, well, I've got to kill four mole rats to get the teeth. That's not actually how it works. Mole rat teeth are kind of a difficult thing to get from mole rats, no matter how many of them you kill. Save yourself some time and go get a mole miner gauntlet. There's some sort of symbiotic relationship between the mole miners and the mole rats, and their gauntlets have mole rat teeth in them. So that'll be the quickest way for you to get the teeth you need for your shepherd's crook. Anyway, I'm going to talk about one other thing here, and that would be these mysterious quills. I'm just going to go ahead and take all ten of them here. If you look at the mysterious quill, it will be a junk item that you get from the body of the sheep squatch itself. And if we inspect it, it's just a spiky quill. Um, in combat with the Sheep Squatch, it will kind of hunch over and launch them at you. The quills are its ranged attack. That's a... that's a thing. But funny enough, if we go in here to craft, and you go down to throwing weapons, you can actually take the mysterious quill, and through the application of acid, leather, and steel, you can turn it into a Sheep Squatch shard. This does 75 physical damage and looks like 3 poison damage, which makes sense because you get poisoned when he shoots them at you. It also has this really nice hook on the end of it. So one imagines if you were carrying several of these, you could have them looped onto a belt or something, and voila, you can throw it away. Uh, let's take a look real quick here because I'll go over to my weapons. And there's the shard. And yeah, it's gone. It's kind of like a grenade in a way. You do throw it in the same way as you would a meat cleaver or anything else. But if you throw it at opponents, you do have a chance to retrieve it. So there's something to be said for that. Anyway, we've got a lot more Sheep Squatch weapons to cover, and uh, we're not going to do it all in this video. So, 
we'll see you next time. Um, do the thing before you go. The the thing with the liking and the upvoting? No, this isn't Reddit. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean. All right. See you guys tomorrow for more thrilling Sheep Squatch information. Bye-bye.